The Kia Optima Car tester Emmanuel Schaefer describes the Kia Optima as handsome, and the design awards it's won back him up. Now we're going on a little test drive to check out the rest of it. The ride starts before the engine's even running. When Emmanuel Schaefer pushes the start button, the driver's seat automatically moves into the right position. The disadvantage is that when he turns the car off, the seat moves back again. That's hard to get used to. The Optima is Kia's mid-range entry. To hold its own against the German market leaders, it sports a German design and an engine developed by Opel. That does help overcome some of the Kia's spotty reputation. The Kia does some things quite well, but not everything. Imanuo says the Optima steering is a bit mushy. You don't get much feedback from the road to guide you. They could have made it a bit tighter. The Optima's interior is done in materials that have a nice look and feel to them. The navigation system is directed toward the driver. The dashboard layout is clear and well organized. The driver's seat can remember two settings, but there's still some room for improvement. Manuel says he likes the feel of the wheel, but the glossy finish seems out of place. The design by Peter Schreier of Germany stands out with its ice cube LED running lights and glossy black trim. The contours are streamlined and guaranteed to turn heads. The rear hints at a sport sedan with its angular tail lights and spoiler lip. Emanuel gives the Kia Optima points for comfortable seats and a suspension that's not too hard and not too soft. So even a long drive on holiday would be manageable without doing you in. A button opens the trunk. That has 505 liters of cargo space, 25 more than a Mercedes C-Class, and it's expandable. But the opening is narrow, which makes loading harder. Further forward, it can get a bit tight. Emmanuel's satisfied with the headroom, but says taller people might have some problems with it. The seat can't be set any lower. It's a minor flaw. The car we tested comes in at 121 kilowatts with a top speed of 210 kilometers per hour. The Optima is rated at 162 grams of CO2 emissions per kilometer. At 7 liters per 100 kilometers, consumption is high, especially given the sluggishness of the engine. Emmanuel says the two-liter gasoline engine in his test car had rather poor pickup. When he stepped on the gas, it took the engine forever to get up to speed. It didn't really kick in properly until it hit 3,000 RPMs. So what's the overall verdict? After some time behind the wheel of Kia Optima, he has a feel for its pluses and minuses. One clear point in its favor is price. This top-of-the-line model starts at 31,000 euros. That wouldn't even get you a basic Mercedes C-Class. The Optima's base model starts at just under 25,000 euros in Germany, 8,000 less than an entry model Mercedes C-Class. So if you like the feel and don't mind the high fuel consumption, the Kia Optima may well be a contender. <laughs>